guys, it's Renee and welcome to Monday Money. This is more like a haul slash review slash swatches. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So the first color is by Pure Eyes. So it's a really beautiful yellow. It's called Showstopper. I bought it because mainly because of my nail art, but I wanted something pigmented just in case I wanted something bright and yellow to my nails. This is what the brush looks like. You only need two coats of this one. It dries fast, it's affordable, it's accessible. The color is quite pigmented. I don't see why not getting it. It's, I recommend it and for me this is a go. And I'm sorry I'm not doing the swatches on my nails because they're kind of gross right now and they are super short and I like to do swatches on bigger spaces. The second color that I bought is from NYC. It's the first time that I buy anything from this brand. It's a really beautiful color and the color is called Spring Street. Now originally I wanted something more orange. It depends on the lighting. In some lighting it's, it looks kind of more, more orange and in some others it looks kind of more red. I feel like a lot of people is going to be using the this color under toes for the summertime. You can easily get along with just one coat. Affordable, accessible, fine brush. If they have an orange in this brand, I would totally purchase. So the color is a no for me, but the brand is a go for me. The third color that I have is by Sally Hansen and is by the line, I guess, Hardest Nails. This one is called Love Rocks. It's a really, really, really beautiful pink color. I don't wear pink that often, but this one really caught my attention. And this one is really pigmented as well. I will really like it. You can pretty much get along with just one coat. It's really rich, this one. I feel like Sally Hansen, they know what they're doing. I would totally recommend this. It's cheap, accessible, pigmentation is awesome, the brush is amazing. So this one is a go for me. The next color is by Sally Hansen and I love, love, love this line. It's extreme wear line. This is a real beautiful color. It's called Blew Me Away. I saw the Pacific Blue that everybody was talking about, but I honestly liked this one better. And the brush is lovely. The pigmentation is amazing. I love this brand. I love this line. I love everything about it. For me, this is a go. That's why I bought this one. I mean, look at that. How can you say no to that? And I know for a fact that this one uh, dries super fast. It's probably dry right now. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to wait. And yeah, for me, this is a go all the way. <laughs> then it's another one by Sally Hansen, no surpriser. And it's the hardest nails. And this is no hard feelings. Just wanted to give it a try. Really beautiful. This, I think it's the lilac. I'm not really sure about it. I was originally looking for something more pigmented, like kind of more bright. They were waiting for me, so I had to pick something. This is more sheer than the rest of them. But if you're looking for something like pastel-y and just perfect for spring and summer, you're going to like it. It's not that expensive. Easy access at Walmart and Target. The brush is good, but yeah, you definitely need two or three coats of this one. So this one is a no for me. The next color is by Pure Eyes again, and it's a really, really beautiful pigmented silver color. It's called Silver Star. The brush is like this. I wanted it for nail art as well as my accessories that I made out of polymer clay. I needed a really pigmented and just pure silver to simulate silver when I do silver accessories because I have my gold now and I needed my silver, so this one is perfect. This is a really awesome pigmentation. Look at that. Two coats and you're pretty much good to go. Although you can see like the lines from the brush, but I think with time and settling and if you're using a top coat on top, it's going to be good. It's pretty affordable, accessible, it's pigmented, so for me this is a go. This one has the story to tell already. I bought it, came home and just dropped it and the bottle broke. Didn't break all the way but it broke, letting some color out. So I had to work my magic and add some tape around the bottle. This is the Maybelline New York Color Show and it's Keep Up the Flame. This is the brush and the color is really beautiful, really lovely. But I used more pigmented reds that with one coat it's good to go because red is really pigmented color as it is and this one is a no for me. 
and then another one by Sally Hansen and it's the hardest nails extreme wear in blackout and I've used this one before like twice and I keep coming to this one because I really love the brush the pigmentation the fact that you only need probably one coat I just have the shiner laces I think it's liquid leather it was okay it's not as good as this one in my opinion so so this one is a go for me and it has been for the last probably two years or maybe a year and a half and then I have another Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Here is my white on. I've tried this before and I keep on coming to it because again the pigmentation and the brush on this ones are amazing. For a white that really really is pigmented and you only need two coats and that it dries in like no time. For me this is a keeper. It dries super fast, it's really pigmented. For me this is a go. The last one that I got is this really really beautiful sparkly color is by Pure Eyes and it's called Dazzle Me. I fell in love with the bottle and all the sparkles. It's got like a really chunky pieces of holographic sparkles and then it gives you small kind of silver sparkles. It's really beautiful. I'm going to apply here to go so you can see what I'm talking about. And the awesome thing about this one, I was trying it yesterday because I just loved it, is that it dries super fast. I thought it was going to take me like years and years and no, it doesn't. It dries super fast. It's affordable and you get all those sparkles and glitter. Look at that. One of the reasons why I bought this one is because I wanted to try like a white manicure and one accent nail. Try this, this one. And this is how it looks. It kind of looks like a polka dot pattern to me. At some point, not, not perfectly like placed, those chunky holographic glitter thingies, but it kind of does. So just to compare to see if you really need a white background, this is the one without any base and this is the one with. So you can get away with just the color itself if you're looking for something sparkly. So pretty! This one is a go for me all the way. Then the last thing I bought is my Sally Hansen Double Duty Base and Top Coat. This did not work for me. But I'm not going to tell you why in this video. I'm actually going to be comparing it with other top coats. So if you want to find out more about that, stay tuned for that. So out of the 11 shades that I bought, I would be probably purchasing 7 of them, which is kind of cool. It's more than what I usually go for. If you have any of these shades or any of these brands, let me know how they work for you. If you like this video or if it was helpful for you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more nail art coming up. Thank you so much for your time watching and if you're into Twitter and Instagram, don't forget to follow me there. Thank you for your time watching and I'll talk to you later.